Shift Up, the creators of Stellar Blade has been accused, which I'm sure y'all already heard by now, of censoring, not just a little, but a lot, a lot of their new game that just dropped last week. Word on the web is it ain't really Shift Up, but them powers that be, and those powers that be, you know, we talking about Sony, but, um, but, uh, seriously, why? Same Sony that let Abby get her back clap fully out. I was streaming the game, and I mean, just imagine, you know? Come on, you know? I'm sitting here sweating, dripping off my damn forehead down my brow, thinking that the DMCA bend. Anyway, anyway, you let you let Abby, Abby of all people, seriously, you let Abby of all people get her back blown out. <laughs> Live and on stream. I mean, for me, if you was going to show some kind of skin from The Last of Us, uh, I'm definitely Team Dina. Uh, Dina, Dina, you know who I'm talking about. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> Eve's skin has been zipped up, taped down, and literally pat patched, patched. If you got the digital version of the game, well, you can't escape the update that changes dozens of Eve's outfits. And the ones that's not covered get, yeah, like I said before, patched. Like the infamous, I know y'all seen this on the interwebs, black cleavage cover cloth. That's what I'm call covering it, calling it. You know, the thing, how they did Tifa uh, when it came to the sports bra underneath it. But at least with Tifa, which came to the sports bra, I mean, this woman out here with them hands and them toes and feet and punching and kicking and shit. I mean, I understand why she would be tapered down, but uh, you gonna put this, <laughs> this damn black cleavage cover cloth on Eve? For what? But to play devil's advocate, this ain't the first time that a Japanese has gotten censored. And not just on the Sony, but Nintendo had done the same thing before too. I, I mean, they've definitely been uh, guilty of over-censoring <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Shift Up isn't a Japanese created game though. It's created by Korean devs. So, so maybe it's an East cultural thing? I don't know. Maybe I'm reading too much into it as per usual, but it's just weird to me because wasn't CJ back out here partying <laughs> with them girls in them motels, hotels, and holiday inns back in, what was that, 04, 05? Like damn near 20 years ago in GTA San Andreas? And let's not forget about Soul Calibur or have we forgotten about Soul Calibur? It hasn't had a <laughs> a solid non-DLC more than a game game that dropped in some years now. I mean, remember Ivy? And oh, another female with a full body suit. <laughs> I'm not gonna even explain <laughs> Bataki. But for those of y'all who play Soul Calibur and know Soul Calibur and playing it since the whole Soul Ed, yeah, yeah, look, 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 Taki got a bodysuit as well. That's that. All I'm gonna say. Also, and bring back Chronicles of the Sword. It's not just the skins is missing, but a lot of the gore has been censored too. So says some of the review code devers, people that have played the game way before we did. I sure would like the a review code. Anybody wanna hook a brother up with a um, you know, with the with the review with a review code shift shift up, you know, even some DLC review codes free. Free, 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 free 99. There is a saving grace to this though. If, if by chance you do have the physical copy, you can avoid the censorship by not updating the game and its patch. And if you already did and you're not too far in the game, what you can do is go back and eradicate, erase, delete all the information off of your PS5, re upload the game, unplug the Ethernet, or if you're on that Wii Fi. If you're on that Wi-Fi, unplug that so you're not connected to the internet, reload the game, and bada bing, bada bang, you got it. I haven't been too, too far into the game, only a couple hours because I've been playing that EU Chronicles at the moment, which I'm really enjoying, even though it's been getting called woke and 
cringe, but yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's gonna be a topic for another time. I am liking Stellar Blade so far, so good. It ain't just the cheeks, y'all. I, I, you know, seriously. I mean, it's not just the cheeks. It's a solid action game. So far, nothing spectacular has, you know, made me say it reinvented the wheel, but I'm only a few hours into the game. But from what I see, I like, I love premises like this, and damn it, I like pretty waifus and women. So, what else you want me to say? But enough about Geek. How are y'all enjoying Stellar Blade? You know what, it's come to a point play the games and then let's talk about if they're bad or not i've heard people talk about how the game wasn't going to be anything way before they even knew about it sometimes you got to get that controller in your hands and them chi <clears throat> if you did like this video do me a favor and hit that like button <laughs> it lets youtube know that you like the content that you see so that way they can put it in front of more people and if you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with all things RPGs, if you please, sprinkle with some of that geek. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I make geekly content here on the channel all the time. All the time. All the time. And as always, in the web, remember to eat, geek, sleep, repeat. I'll holler at y'all the next one. Peace.